We all know that the color red is back with a vengeance. Wearing it on your lips and nails gives it a bit of an edge, but we want to kick it up a notch. I'm here with style blogger Laura Langtree to talk all about this luscious color. Well, Jackie, like you said, red is really hot right now, and it's a great color to wear because it's such a confidence booster. We see a lot of celebrities like Gwen Stefani and Rihanna using a red lipstick as their sort of signature go-to. Now, a fun way to switch up the red lip is to try it with an ombre. So ombre really means sort of a gradient of color, and the way that I would suggest doing it is to pair a red with either an orange or a pink. So you would take that orange, place it on the inside of the lip, and then take your red and outline the outer rim of your lip. Some people use a lip pencil. I'm not a huge fan of a lip pencil. I can usually get a pretty sharp line with just the tip of my lipstick or even a lip brush. So you're gonna place it really heavily around the outline and then almost work it in towards that orange and start blending them together. So another really fun way to wear red is on your nails. Now, nail art has been so hot, women are investing a ton of time into it, you might as well use a poppy color that's gonna stand out. I love using red for a moon manicure, and it's really, really easy to do. Remember those label reinforcers that we used to use in grade school? You're gonna take one of those and actually use the rounded edge to cover the moon at the bottom of your nail. Once that's covered, apply two coats of a nice bright cherry red and wait until it's not quite dry, but it's not movable, just tacky, and then pull up that label reinforcer towards the color. It should reveal a nice clear area in the moon, a couple of top coats. Make sure you cap the edge so that the manicure lasts and you're good to go. So what kind of colors should you use with the red nail polish? Well, you don't even have to use a color. Honestly, you can just leave it clear. I think that looks really cool. Um, what I've done here is actually put some black. I just think that a little bit of contrast is really nice. Or you could use an analogous color scheme and use different shades of red or pink or orange and just kind of keep it, again, that whole gradient ombre theme. Now, you wouldn't think of red when it comes to the eyes, but it's actually a really fun look to wear and it doesn't have to be goth. Now the one thing you wanna be really careful with when you're wearing red makeup is that your skin tone is evened out because any of that red will show red imperfections in the skin. So once your skin tone is even and your foundation is set, dip an eyeliner brush into a little bit of red eyeshadow and then place that actually along the inside waterline. Be very careful when you're placing eyeshadow there. Try not to get any in your eyes. Start at the outer corner and then work your way into the tear duct. Once your eyeshadow's in place, make sure that you wipe away any fall off and then then apply concealer on the under eye. I also like to balance it out with a nude on the upper lid. I think that, you know, it really just helps the whites of the eyes pop. So why use eyeshadow as opposed to like eyeliner? Red eyeliner isn't really readily available and you don't want to cheat this by putting a red lip pencil or anything near your eye. You have to be very careful. So eyeshadow is probably just the easiest way to go. Laura, thank you so much for your tips. And remember, if you're gonna rock any of these looks, make sure you've got the attitude to go with it because wearing red will definitely bring you some attention.